Sergeant Doobie's squad was ordered to blow the wall to enable the trucks and equipment to get off Omaha Beach. Sergeant Doobie supervised the placement of the TNT against the wall with his squad members, and you were the soldier that detonated the explosion. Now, for those of you who've seen those movies, you've got the box and the handle and the bar. That means pushing the plunger. So again, Sergeant Doobie not only organized the uh, demolition of the wall, but you pushed the plunger. <laughs> and that's being, a, that's being a combat engineer. It was a detonator that I just pushed it. Oh, is it, you had the twi oh, is, is a modern one then? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is with great honor that we are ready to present an award to Sergeant Doobie. So for nearly 70 years, as a squad leader of 9th Squad, 3rd Platoon, Charlie Company, 121st Engineer Battalion, 29th Division, his technical expertise was a critical component to the successful reduction of fortifications at the Beer Mill Draw on 6 June 1942, which allowed the flow of personnel and equipment from Omaha Beach onward. As a result of Sergeant Retired Newton's ingenuity and let us try attitude, he also developed field expedient methods of breaching fortifications inland that were implemented by maneuver forces. Well, I'm not much for speaking. Okay. I can only say I came here because I was invited. I had couldn't imagine what I was going to go through. <laughs> and and uh, I still can't believe everything that I've been given here. It, it, this is way over my head. <laughs> you deserve it, yeah. I, I'm not accustomed to this. <laughs> And I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done. I, I, I sincerely mean that, coming from the bottom of my heart, because it was all unbelievable. <laughs> thank you so much. Warrant Officer 5, Maryland, Dick Jordan, resides locally and has continued to serve the Maryland Military Department combined for over 60 years. On April, March 51, Corporal Jordan enlisted in the Maryland Army National Guard and began his distinguished 34-year tenure serving in many units including the 115th Infantry Regiment, Battery A of the 110th Field Artillery, D Delta of the 729th Maintenance Battalion, 58th Infantry Brigade, and I guess you finally saw the light because you came to the 121st Engineer Battalion. <laughs> After retiring, you were selected for service in the military department and you currently serve as a reservation manager for gunpowder. In 1942, in April, I went in the Navy. Sometime between April and June, I wrote a little song that pertained to the Navy. So if you don't mind, only take a minute. I'm going to sing it to you. I remember those words. We traveled this wide world all over. We stayed at the best of hotels. Some were good, some were bad, some were different. They all were the best that they had. Now the last one we stopped that was Baltimore. So fine, so clean, and so neat. But you wonder why we are still living when I tell you what we had to eat. <laughs> Monday we had bread and gravy. Tuesday twas gravy on bread. Wednesday and Thursday twas gravy on toast, but that's nothing but gravy on bread. Friday we spoke to the waiter, won't you please give us something instead? Saturday morning, by way of a change, we had gravy without any bread. 